Hi, my name's Ian. I run the London Boiler Company. Um, I am the plumbing and heating expert on various shows on TV, on ITV, Channel 4, BBC, including BBC Watchdog, Rogue Traders and BBC Your Money. We've decided to make a film today. We have made similar films in the past, um, but this film's a classic because here in London we face this problem all of the time. We have a combination boiler, but the flues are hidden in a void, they're hidden in a ceiling. We'll show, if, we'll show you in a few moments the flues in the other room which are buried in the ceiling. And the customer's got a big problem here for two reasons. One, if you install a new flue, the million dollar question is, can you install it appropriately so it meets the relevant legislation? We don't think you can. So David, our cameraman, has just panned in and shown you where the hidden flues are hidden in these voids. Now, if we were to install a new flue here, because a lot of customers say, no, no, I don't want an electric boiler, got to have gas, what would happen? Well, the, fl the, the actual hole is obviously buried in the ceiling, so we can't see that. So if we had a magic uh, device and we could look through the ceiling there, there's a hole in the wall where the two flues exit through the brickwork. Now, if we were to use the same holes, the flue running back to the boiler would literally drop down 54 millimeters every single meter. Somewhere in the middle of the room, there would be a large flue coming out of the ceiling. It would be running downwards because there needs to be that fall from the end of the flue back to the boiler. So the flue would be running along this wall. There'd be a big hole in this wall where the flue runs through into the next room, which is the kitchen where the boiler is installed. And then the boiler next door would need to be installed lower so it could connect onto this large flue. What would happen at the end of the job? Well, we are expert heating engineers. We are not builders and decorators. So the customer would be left with a horrible looking flue. And then you'd have all the additional costs of having builders and decorators box all of this in and try and make it look nice. But ultimately, this nice room with a minimalist look would have a great big box along the back, which at best could be described as unsightly. Why do we only install heat tray sardia boilers? There are cheaper boilers on the marketplace. Uh, simply, there's, there's lots of reasons to be quite frank. Um, the number one has to be reliability. Um, efficiency on these boilers, they are almost 100% efficient. To be frank, 99.8% efficient, which is nearly 100%. But that for us isn't necessarily, necessarily the biggest selling point. It's to do with reliability. Now, this is nine kilowatts. Now, a 1950s local authority property with a back boiler, and that's a three bedroom house, uses a nine to 11 kilowatt boiler. Well, we're in this plant, it's very compact, it's not heavy, um, and we can install this boiler and it'll provide lots of heat to your radiators. Now, for larger properties, this boiler can be cascaded. What does that mean? Well, simply, we'll install this boiler, another one next to it, and another one next to it and join them all up and link them with relays and that way you get a greater heat distribution for a larger property. Now as I've mentioned reliability comes first and for us and our customers that's what we we care about. Now why are they so reliable? Well the technology in these boilers is 15 years old. Okay over the years they've modified them slightly but it's more for electrical um, updates internal, internal, uh, internal to the boiler. But the actual heat exchanger, how it heats the water, hasn't changed in 15 years. That means it's reliable, robust, and doesn't go wrong. That's really important. Here I am, stood in the cupboard, where this boiler's gonna be installed. Customers are always very concerned about space, especially here in London, where property prices are crazy wherever you go. So how's this boiler gonna look once it's installed in your cupboard? Well, as you can see, it's only taking up a, a tiny amount of space, um, still lots and lots of storage room. And do you know what's fantastic about this? 
It's made here in good old Blighty. It's a British made product, made in Norwich, and has been for a very long time. There is also a little bonus of obviously us taking out uh, this boiler from the kitchen and fitting a slim, a slim line electric boiler somewhere else in the property. We obviously free up some kitchen space here in the property. And as I'm reliably informed by lots of people, you can never have enough space in your kitchen. So here we are, we've got the almost finished product. We've got a wall hung, unvented hot water heater. So this takes water directly from the, the main supply, your drinking water, mains pressure. Mains pressure goes in, is heated up, and comes out giving you mains pressure hot water. Now there are two types, and we can install either. This is a wall hung one, as I've mentioned, and we also have a floor standing cylinder. They both do exactly the same thing. In terms of their performance, they're identical. It's just down to situations. Here, here we were limited for space, so a wall-mounted unit was much more appropriate. Sat next to it, we have our Heatray Sardia electric boiler, and this heats your radiator, so they're completely separate systems. And we have a wireless room thermostat. We always recommend Honeywell controls. One, they're reliable, uh, they've been around a long time, and most importantly for us, very simple to use. Customers love them because they're simple and reliable. What more would you want? Super efficiency and reliability. And that's it for electric boilers in your property. So that is it. I think I've done an amazing job, uh, me and my company. What would you think of my work and our, our quality of the workmanship? Yeah, it's okay.